the MAGA Republicans' proposal will be a five-alarm fire for hard-working families. While President Biden is focused on giving those families more breathing room, MAGA congressional Republicans will, would increase cost and worsen inflation. The White House stepping up attacks on mega Republicans and the Freedom Caucus budget plan. Next hour, Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen is set to testify on President Biden's proposed $6.8 trillion budget. Joining us now, House Financial Services and Freedom Caucus member, Florida Republican Congressman Byron Donalds. Congressman, thanks for being with us today. Okay, I want to take you right to KJP's statement. It sounds like she's calling you an economic arsonist. What's your response to that? My response is the press secretary doesn't know what she's talking about. She obviously doesn't know economics because she works for a guy that ignited inflation in our economy. We did not have 8% or 6% inflation in this country for 40 years. It took Joe Biden two months, and here it is. So she doesn't know what she's talking about. That's number one. Number two, if you're going to get this inflation out of our economy, part of the job is at the Federal Reserve with raising rates. But the other part of it is government government curtailing its spending. Inflation is created by too much government money going into the economy. It puts too many, too many, too many dollars chasing too few goods. The formula is the same. If she took an economics course, maybe she would realize that. You're breaking down for us very nicely, basic supply and demand dynamics. So we appreciate that. I think it's interesting pivoting a little bit. The Freedom Caucus is also calling to end some of the government uh, bank bailouts that we have been seeing and some of the massive um, global insurance for all depositors. What do you make of this? Well, a couple things. One, I think that if you're going to do universal security of deposits, insurance of deposits, whatever you want to call it, it's only going to create a moral hazard. What does that tell some bank board if there's going to be unlimited security of all deposits? It means they can go do more stuff with the balance sheet, not less. So I understand that the Fed's window, this new program, is open right now. That needs to be closed, frankly, in a couple of weeks, in my view, so that when you get back to sound banking practices. Number two, what was the Federal Reserve Board in San Francisco actually doing? What were the regulators mm -hmm. looking at? Mary Daly, who runs the San Francisco Fed, she should be called into Congress to answer those questions because she failed in supervisory. Uh, the, the SVB Bank Board, uh -huh. uh, they failed in supervisory as well. That's what we need to be focused on. On that note, too, where were the state regulators in California, in New York? Uh, look, I don't know. Big, these are really good questions. And I'm not saying this is some guy who's in Congress. I worked for a community bank, my first job coming out of college. I had to deal with bank regulators when I was a credit officer and assistant vice president writing the loan loss report for my bank. So what were the bank regulators doing with SVB, with Signature, and how come they did not hold them accountable for the, for the apparent interest rate risk that was on their balance sheet? Congressman, if I could bring you back to the budget for just a moment. Um, sure. The House Freedom Caucus budget plan in, has four main elements. Cap spending at 2022 levels for 10 years. Cancel $400 billion in student loan bailouts. Reclaim unspent COVID funds. And have work requirements for wealth, welfare recipients. Now, I think that's very strong messaging. What can you guys do better to get that messaging out to the American public? Because what this administration tends to do is play spinning games to make it seem like you're going to make it worse for people than they already have. No, very, very simple. First thing we're telling everybody is we just want to get back to pre-COVID spending levels. COVID happened. We know government responded. You know, it's mixed about the opinions of all the spending that would happen. CARES Act money, totally get it. American Rescue Plan was a flat-out joke. Never should have happened. But COVID is over now. Even Joe Biden is saying that. So if COVID's over, why are we still spending as if COVID is still happening to the country? We should get back to pre-COVID -pre spending levels. That will make things better. Number two, with respect to work requirements. We got rid of work requirements because of COVID. Well, guess what? COVID's over. So people actually having to go back to work requirements is a good thing for the country. But point three, and most of all, if we continue to recklessly spend in Washington, it will only make inflation in our economy worse. And that hurts poor people, whether you're white, black, or Hispanic, whether you're Republican or Democrat, you are the one who is going to suffer. Joe Biden doesn't care. He would rather spend $7 trillion of money we don't have. I mean, talk about a joke. 
Congressman, just real quick before we let you go, grand jury proceeding is called off for today as part of the investigation to former President Trump. The jurors have been notified to be on standby for tomorrow. Two sources telling Fox News Digital that the grand jury was canceled amid, quote, major dissension um, within the district attorney's office. Congressman, any thoughts on this? Well, the dissension in the district attorney's office must mean that somebody over there is, has sense mm -hmm. and realizes that this political prosecution is a joke and makes the New York DA's office look like a third world banana republic outfit. So if that's what's going on, that's a good thing for the country. And I want people to understand, this is not about, oh, a Republican supporting and protecting another Republican. You cannot have a criminal justice system involved in, pers in, in political prosecutions. It is the worst thing for our country no matter what your politics are. Right. The rules need to be fair across the board. Congressman Byron Donalds, thank you so much for your time today. Good to see you, sir.